And now we need to create the jack-o'-lantern face. To do that, we're going to create an offset plane. We need something to draw on here in the front. We can't draw on these curved surface. So I'm going to create an offset plane. I'm going to do it from this face right here. And I'm going to drag it out to right barely in front of the pumpkin. Now this is really far from us. So I'm going to zoom in. I want to be really close to the face here. So right... Yeah, I think that might be it. Yeah, good. I'm just barely off from the face. So I'm going to say, okay. And now I'm going to rotate it around so I can see that plane. I'm going to create a sketch on that plane. And at this point, I'm going to do a project tool. Because my plane's in front of my pumpkin, I can't do an intersect. I have to do a project. So I'm going to come over here and say create, or just actually use P for project. Make sure it says bodies and not entities. If you do entities, it only does one part of the pumpkin for you. We want to do the whole outside of the pumpkin. And right there it is. And we're going to click OK. Once it draws that, we're going to turn off the pumpkin and the um, stem. And this is what we have to draw on. I'm going to stay away from the top and the bottom because that's where the pumpkin curves. And it would be weird to cut an eye through there. I'm going to stay in the middle-ish here. And I'm just going to drag and draw some regular shapes that you might see on a pumpkin. So I'm actually I'm going to do mine a little bit inverted and weird. So I'm going to do it here, 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 here. No, I don't like that. I'm going to do a regular shape. <clears throat> so I'm going to kind of come down here, to there, to there, I don't know, maybe far out to the outside like that. And I'm just going to draw the left half side, then I'm going to mirror it to the right so it'll look exactly the same. And one thing I'm going to do right away, escape, is notice how these have these constraints drawn. This is a perpendicular constraint. I'm going to go through and click on these one at a time and delete them. I don't want any constraint. It should look like this where there's no extra little symbols in there. And then I'm going to come in here and draw a mouth. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for a mouth. So maybe I'm going to say, oh, actually first I'm going to draw a construction line straight down the middle of the pumpkin. That way I can have a left and right half side. So I'm just going to draw the left half of the mouth. I'm going to turn the construction lines off. And I'm going to start like maybe here and come straight out. And then maybe I'm going to put a, I don't know, a weird, I'm going to do a square tooth this time. Let me zoom in some. I don't know, there. I'm just going to do some randomness here. Just going to do a different kind of pumpkin. About like that. <clears throat> Good. Escape. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So I'm going to do an equal command, and I'm going to make the spaces between the teeth equal length. I'm going to make that one equal to this one. Um, I'm going to make this one equal to this bottom one. And this one equal to this bottom one. Um, and now you can see, or hit escape. Now if I drag this outside line, see how everything stays sort of, oh no, look, that moves. So I need to make all of these depths equal as well. So I'm going to go grab up here, escape. I'm going to grab the equal tool and say, hey, this one is equal to that one. And this one is equal to that one which is already was, I guess, and this one is equal to that one, which it is now. And now I can escape, and now when I pull this, they all go together. So I can kind of adjust the look of the teeth. And I'm going to drag this one in a little bit to make the teeth a little smaller. Drag them in like that. I want, I want a kind of a goofy smile on this one. Now the bottom half, I want to have a, I want to have a curve that connects this side to that side, so I'm not going to mirror that curve halfway. Otherwise, you get a weird effect. Um, so now I think I'm ready to mirror. So I'm going to mirror this. And I'm just going to select. Actually, I'm just going to let me unselect those two. It's easier just to. I'm just going to erase my selections. It's easier actually just to just to drag a circle around them. Uh, my mirror line is here, and it just mirrored it. I'm going to say OK. And now I'm going to grab my line tool one more time. And I'm going to click and drag an arc that goes, wow, that didn't work. So I'm not going to do the line tool. Control Z until it's gone. I'm going to do a three point arc. Yep. So I'm going to click on this side of mouth. 
this side of the mouth, and I'm going to drag the arc down for something sort of happy looking like that. Okay, I don't want to get too far down because that is where the pumpkin's going to curve. This might be too far down right now. Um, escape. Let me turn the pumpkin back on and take a look at where I'm at. That's probably as far down as I want to go. I'm going to bring it up a little bit actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this corner here and drag this up a little bit. And then this is too long in here. So what to do about that? Yeah, let's pull that in and then we'll pull this in. Whoa, weird things are happening. Control Z, Control Z. All right, let's leave it there. I think if I want to change, I need to, I need to undo it. But I think that'll work. All right, so now I'm gonna turn the pumpkin off again and then I'm gonna look at the eyes. I really like the way the eyes turned out, but notice that if I change something about the eyes, so if I grab all of them like this, I can move them and the other eye will move with it. Um, I think where they were, were, I think it's pretty good. I think I'm gonna bring them in a little bit more. About like that. And I kind of dig the rest of it. Maybe, no, I liked it where it was. Kind of like that. <clears throat> all right, that's my face. Keep playing with the face. Take all the time you can um, to get a really good face. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn the pumpkin back on. And notice that our drawing is out in front of the pumpkin right now. So now all we're going to do is extrude, and we're going to extrude all of these. And we are going to extrude back in this direction. And we're going to punch it into the pumpkin about like that far-ish. We just want to make sure that we're deep enough to get through the wall, but not so deep that we might hit something back here. Right. That's a pretty cool look, but to make it even better, we can put a little bit of taper on it. If we put about a, a negative five degree taper on it, it'll taper it in. You can see, oh, this profile didn't like it. So five was too much for this pro profile. Let's go negative three, negative two. There it is. What that does is it just goes through the pumpkin at an angle. I think it makes a much cooler look. And I'm gonna go and click OK here. And let's take a look at what it looks like. Awesome. Yeah, like a five degree angle is better. I didn't have enough space in between these teeth. If I was doing it over again, I would actually change, because this, this is too big in between. Um, I would go back and fix it. In fact, I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna go back and fix it. The fix is going to look like me going back and deleting a bunch of those constraints I put on it so that there's none of those extra pictures and then I can move things around a little more independent of each other. Right. Okay, so I went back and changed a bunch of stuff. You can see I cleaned up these interior teeth spacing and I added some circles here. Play around with the face, take your time with it, enjoy yourself. That's it for this video. The last thing we need to do is cut a lid into it and then we're off to Prusa to slice it up for the printer. There'll be a good deal of work in Prusa as well. Awesome job, keep it up, see you soon.